Welcome back to Game 101. In this video, we are going to continue with conversion factors, and we're going to look at water and see how many conversion factors we can actually generate just from this simple formula and what we know about the atomic masses of hydrogen and oxygen. We're going to start with H2O. And we're going to try to think of everything that we can that can be a conversion factor involving water. For example, we know that there are two hydrogen atoms for every oxygen atom. And for every one O atom. We could say there are two hydrogen atoms in every one mo water molecule. Or just as likely, we could say that there's, uh, I'm sorry, one oxygen atom in every one water molecule. We can say that. We can say there are three atoms altogether in every one water molecule. We can expand this to include moles and not just atoms. We can say uh, one mole of H2O has three moles of atoms. Or one mole of H2O has two moles of hydrogen. Right? We can say this. We can talk about masses. We know that one hydrogen atom is approximately 1.0079 grams per mole. And we know that oxygen is about 15.999 grams per mole. So what can we say now with grams? Well, we can estimate that about the mass of the two hydrogens in water uh, would be about 2.0 grams. Let's just 2.0 grams of hydrogen for every, let's just round up, 16 grams of oxygen. So this is just a way of, of relating the mass of the hydrogen in water to the mass of the oxygen in water. We can relate the mass of hydrogen to the mass of water instead of um, to oxygen itself. 2 grams of hydrogen in every 18 grams of H2O, right? Or 16 grams of oxygen in every 18 grams of H2O. Now, this here would be the formula mass, this 18 grams per mole for water. And if you're unsure how to calculate formula mass, then watch one of the other videos that I have on calculating formula mass. Um, but if we know the formula mass, we can even do something called mass percent. And uh, again, there's a video on mass percent if you're unsure. But we could look at the percent of hi or the grams of hydrogen, uh, 2.0 grams hydrogen over. It kind of doesn't look like like a 2.0. Clean that up. 2.0 grams of hydrogen over 18 grams of water times 100 gives us about 11.1% mass of hydrogen. So this is so hydrogen is 11.1% by mass of the entire water molecule. And we can even use that as a conversion factor. If something is 11, or if, if water is 11.1% hydrogen by mass, then we could say that every 11.1 grams of hydrogen, we should find 100 grams of water. And that should make sense. 11.1 is 11.1% of 100. So if we had a hundred grams of water, we would have a 11.1 grams of hydrogen. So this is just using the information here in percent mass as a conversion factor. 
I think that's about all the conversion factors we can pull from, from water. Uh, maybe you can think of a few more. If you do, let me know in the comments. Um, otherwise, we can apply this same principle to any molecule. And so we can thus find any kind of relationship we want. Atoms to atoms, moles to moles, grams to grams. Uh, so this is a, a useful tool to, to develop and, uh, and to add to your, uh, your chemistry toolbox. In the next video, we will do some calculations using conversion factors.